something a little different tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at Professional Helicopter Services in Moorabbin Airport, joined by Melbourne Rebels flyer Jason Woodward. Jason, right? regarding helicopter pilot, why? Um, yeah, I was sort of was pretty pretty adamant. Um, I wanted to be a personal trainer, and yeah, it sort of hit me one day. I didn't want to end up working in a gym for the rest of my life, and. Yeah, in that, in that split moment, I decided to fly helicopters. So the very next day, I was, I was flying helicopters. Yeah. And talk us through, what are you going up in today? Uh, today, we're heading up in the Hughes 300. So predominantly, they're used for flight training and uh, a lot of ag work. So I've been training in them, so we'll be up in them today. Perfect. Uh, do you mind if I say it? Go for it, mate. Come on, Jason, get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, temperatures, pressures all agree. Clear Clear takeoff. Clear for takeoff. How's it all feeling? Coming back to you? Yeah. No, it's good. I love being up here. It's a nice, uh, nice departure down to the training area this way. And what you've picked up on, which is really good, is it's subtle movements. We'll come into land, you know, we'll aim for that paddock just past the shed. OK. And then you go right. That's no, pretty damn good, Jace. Yeah, no, mate, it was good. All good? You're yeah, in one piece? Fun. Yeah, I'm alive. Very good, oh, very good. good. Outstanding. Uh, how far in are you, mate? How much longer to go? Um, so I've pretty much done all my requirements for my private pilot's licence. I've just got to sort of flight test and basically another 100 hours on top of that, I'll get my commercial. And what's the end game? Uh, long term for me, I'd like to get into search and rescue. Um, yeah, uh, search and rescue, ambulance flying. Um, Obviously, living in Australia, there's, there's a lot of work doing the bushfires. So, yeah, anything along those lines, mate, I'd be happy to happy to be part of. And how do the nerves go compared to playing against the best players in the southern hemisphere to flying a helicopter? How do they match up? Oh, uh, when, when you first start out flying, it's it's pretty nerve-wracking. I guess it's like um, you know your debut or you know a really big game or a grand final. Um, but yeah, I mean, mid-season, once you get into once you get into it, once you get into flying that for a while, you know the nerves sort of settle and. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. And is it an adrenaline rush once you get up there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, you start doing some emergency landings and you know a few sort of hectic things like that. And, um, yeah, you can get get the blood pumping, but um, yeah, no, it's it's really good fun. Definitely looking at um, looking at this as a job outside of rugby. Thanks for having us along, and uh, good to see you back in one piece. Right, thanks a lot. Cheers, everyone.